Alrighty, here we are. We're back. It's been a minute. I made you guys wait a little longer than you wanted to. I need to get this right. Let's start from the beginning. January 2019, I receive a DM from this person. I'm sure you guys all know who I'm talking about. I proceeded to respond as a friend, like anyone would do. Especially to someone who has so much influence in the, like this world today, you could say. In social media, yeah. From there, I'm gonna kinda skip over a lot and go right to this point. James then, uh, James then saw this as an opportunity to manipulate me as a person who may or may not have been trying to figure things out about their sexuality. After the fact of telling him that I was straight multiple times. He then started to begin putting a little bit of pressure on me uh, of getting to know me without like disregarding the fact that I told him I was straight. Because as you all know, this person 99.9, .9, maybe even 100% of the time goes after um, heterosexual men. I told James I wasn't interested in any of that. We then stopped talking for a while. Um, he, had to do, he had to shoot a video in New York City for a bit. But I was in school. He came here. Uh, he wanted to hang out. I told him I was busy. His flight got delayed. So then he saw this as a perfect opportunity to hang out even though I told him I was busy. Uh, he then proceeded to get mad at me for not clearing my schedule to meet up, uh, hang out, get food, chill, whatever, talk. And he went off on social media, like, first of all, he blocked me on everything. He went off on social media, and this is the first time that I was, I guess, subtweeted about. Here's a screenshot. Um, the tweet about pretty boys being assholes and whatnot. That's about me. So I was blocked on everything. Um, and a little side note, like, he mentions a lot that he had to grow up a lot faster than everyone else around him because of how fast he he grew on social media and publicly. I have matured and grown up mm -hmm. way faster than anybody else my age. We also have very similar taste in guys too. <laughs> Hot. Masculine. Straight. <laughs> we just want what we can't have. So he's not stupid. He's not an idiot. He knows he's going after straight boys. And he just continues to lead himself on, I guess you could say. He was aware how I felt about him. He constantly kept telling me while we were hanging out uh, at Coachella that he appreciated that I was always 100% honest with him. If I was ever a little vague, I was never telling him what he wanted to hear or I was never lying to him. It was always how I felt at the time and he knew that. I'm gonna stop eating now because I'm chewing pretty loud. I'm like stressy, I guess you could say. So he was aware how I felt about him and basically still like pursued this action. In between a few weeks or like a week or two, I was like blocked and unblocked multiple times because maybe I wouldn't respond to his Snapchat right away or maybe I wouldn't respond to his DM right away or I wouldn't pick up a FaceTime call. So he then unblocked me and continued to speculate that he didn't know or that he forgot that I told him I was straight in the beginning. So he then invited me to Coachella and I denied the first time he asked me. I denied the f both times he asked me. Uh, he asked me like one day and the next day after he asked me again, I said no. After I said no, he got mad again and blocked me on everything. Once again, so we didn't talk for probably two weeks. I then got in contact with him again after a few weeks and told him I did want to go to Coachella. Uh, so I ended up going to Coachella, right? Because I thought it was going to be a good time. And it was. It was an awesome weekend. Hung out with all of them. It was a blast. So I got there. We were all hanging out. We were having a good time. Uh, we go to Coachella first day, second day, all that. 
It was a great time. Uh, one of the best weekends of my life, not gonna lie, it was a lot of fun. There were some points where I guess he was not sure how I was feeling, even though I was telling him the whole time I wasn't into, I guess you could say, experimenting at that time. Um, he proceeded to get extremely upset with me because of that and kind of tried to play his emotions and push his emotions onto me to kind of guilt me into trying something um, that I didn't want to do. So after I denied any like any of that, he, I guess, went to Twitter again later on. Um, so at the end of Coachella, all of his friends, I guess, came to a conclusion that I was using him. But of course, like up front, they're going to act like my best friends. Right as I left, he put up the tweet about um, the real friends and all that stuff, which was kind of relevant, the tweet, but that just shows like you leave right away and they're already like, I guess, talking bad about you and they can't say it to your face, which is kind of shitty. And what's interesting is like, these influencers are like chasing clout all the time and they're all loud when it's drama, right? But only when it's amongst themselves because it generates the views and the engagement. But when it comes to like someone like me, a normal person who's not like an influencer or public figure or anything like that, uh, they couldn't be truthful. And this person had to take it to social media and all that. And what's funny is this individual has already been involved in like two other major scandals, which just shows how much, not even this one person, but all of them rely on scandals, you could say. And you can come at me and say you're making this video to be a part of that, but like, it's just, you can think what you want. I really don't care. I'm making this video because I want to. This person is aware of how much money they make off of these scandals. This is not me trying to come at them. It's more or less kind of just letting you guys know all of the drama that even has occurred after this. And this person has mentioned it to me multiple times when I was there that all of these scandals drive more engagement and more revenue. Um, just capital on top of capital and and I, I think it's ironic that I'm the con artist I'm the cloud chaser you don't think it's possible to be a cloud chaser if you're the top dog like in the industry you could absolutely chase cloud you you create the cloud that you bring on to yourself through these scandals and through the drama yeah so Thanks to you guys, I was pressured into making this, this second video. It was a good time. That's the tea. See you later.